I can tell you right away that the silly triangle that is on the thumbnail changed the way I draw faces and heads forever. Because look, every hand and face tutorial will tell you that the structure of the head looks like this. A ball with a jaw. But you and I know that it's not enough if you want to take this and turn it into something like this. It feels like that very old owl meme. And I can tell you right away that most artists go from the ball and jaw straight to drawing eyes. And this is a mistake because there is a better way. I searched throughout all of the internet to see if someone agreed with me and there's only a very few tutorials that elaborate on really what to do next. And somehow they still all forget to tell you the next step that will help you place all the face structure in the ball and jaw. And it is this. And maybe you already know where I'm going with this. I want to teach it to you because this will not only help you with realistic faces, but also very stylized faces. Whatever your style it is, this will help. Uh, unless you're doing this. This, I can help you with that. But once you understand how to use this triangle, it will change the way that you draw faces forever. Now let's draw a face together so I can show you what I mean. So, as you already know, we're going to start by drawing the ball. Now come the guidelines. They are very important because most of all, you want to use them to show the direction where the head is looking at. It's also very helpful because you can use the horizontal guide to figure out the shape of the jaw. Now you're going to finish the jaw and here I would recommend you do it softly because there are a few things that you will be doing later that will help you define the jaw better. And also if your character is going to have a mouth open, you don't want to really draw the jaw right now. Now let's go back to the two drawings that I showed you before. Can you see where is the triangle that I'm talking about? It's your nose. Of course it is. Just think about how important the nose is. First, it is mostly bone, so you can't ignore it. Second, it is the only part of your face that doesn't move because your mouth and eyebrows are all over the place and your eyes can close and widen depending on how you move your cheeks. But the nose? The nose is always on the same place. Look at it, that it's all it is. A sort of blobby triangle that will define the shape of the nose. I usually start from the lower part since the vertical guideline is already there and the horizontal guideline will give me an idea where it ends on the top. Once I have this, I can define the nostrils very loosely. But now that you have this, you can choose where you want the brow. Remember that the eyes don't need to follow the horizontal guideline. They can be above, they can be below. It depends on you. Just with these few lines, you have to find the most important landmarks on a face. I'm going to show you how to continue, but if you solve this, you have like 80% of a face solved. If you disagree with this and you have other method that works for you for drawing faces, leave it in the comments so I can try it out. Now, let's go back. With the brow and nose defined, I can now draw the mask that will help me place the eyes. And I have this very old video that everyone loves that will tell you a lot more about the mask and how to place the eyes on a face. But basically, you can draw a line between the further end of the brow and the top of the nostril to create a mask that will help you place the eyes in the right place. There's also this great Ben Eblen video where he describes this as a whistle, which if it works better for you, then think of it as a whistle. Whistle! Whistle! Now you can use the mask or whistle to define the cheeks and brow depth. And while you're at it, this pushes forward the jaw, which will give you some space to do the mouth. Now from the lower part of the nose, you can just draw the philtrum so you can know exactly where the mouth starts. Well, and what if the mouth's open? Well, that's exactly the reason why we draw the jaw a little bit lighter. So we can do the open mouth first and we can define the jaw later. So now you've known for a while where the brow and the nose are. But did you know that if you follow those two lines across the shape of the head, you can know exactly the shape of your ears? Now, last thing, and this is very important. When you're drawing a face in a profile, you should remember that the nose defines how forward the jaw is going to be. So once you've drawn the nose, remember to move the mouth and the chin a little bit forward than the line that you use to define the head. So now you know it, now it's time to give it a try. In all angles, in all shapes, you'll see that it works. You can tell by the drawings that I did on this video that it works every time. I think it will solve a lot of the problems that you've been having when drawing faces. And if you're still here, it's because you liked the video and you're going to try this. 
Just let me know in the comments if it works for you. Also, if there's anything that you would change from this, also let me know. And if you like this video, I'm also pretty sure that you're going to like the following video that is about drawing shadows and it is right here.